Now this is a video that I normally don't kind of talk about, but right now this thing is serious and it's about the state of the current collectible market. So whether you are into basketball cards or Marvel cards or art or collectibles or comics or NFTs or cryptocurrency, this video is gonna be one of the most important videos that you'll ever watch because right now there is a huge bubble and an upcoming crash that's happening and most people don't even know that it's about to happen. And the reason why most people don't know is because of a lot of influencers out there talking about how, you know, Pokemon cards, they're spending six figures on all these type of cards and collectibles, NFTs, NBA Top Shots, virtual. And, um, and today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you uh, what are the signs that shows that it's an impending bubble and why you wanna stay out of it. Okay, so with people like Logan Paul paying six figures for a Charizard for an unopened box of Pokemon, and because of this hype that is happening in not just Pokemon cards, but you'll see that literally taking place when it comes to collectibles, when it comes to comics, when it comes to cards, basketball cards, trading cards, Marvel cards, and you'll also see it happening right now in NFTs, digital art, like all of this right now is skyrocketing. And if you don't know what you're doing, you're gonna be sucked in thinking that it's gonna last forever when it's not. Now, what am I talking about? So let me talk about like some of the things that is happening in the collectibles market um, and how this relates to you. Um, so let's talk about this set over here, okay? So like this set right now in the recent month, this is a 1990 Marvel Impel collectible set. Okay, this is the full set over here. And right now, like I'm on eBay right now, and a full set for this 1990 Marvel Universe box, you'll see that it is going for about $1,000 for a box. Okay, now, what is the significance of this set here? The significance is that this is the first year that Marvel uh, ventured and branched out into cards and, co whoops, collectibles. I'm not just showing you what to do, I'm showing you what not to do, okay? so. Um, by right, you should not be treating these type of collectibles and cards like this. So first of all, what's happening? Why is it selling for, you know, over a thousand dollars? And you can see it right, right now, there's a box at $810 with, with literally 45 bits on it, two days left, okay? So right now, the prices of this thing is surging. Now, why is that the case? The reason is because right now, if you go on, on eBay, and if you take a look at 1990 Marvel uh, PSA 10, so let me just do this quick search to show you what I'm talking about. A PSA 10, so for one of these cards, okay, so whether it's Captain America or Iron Man or Stanley, you can see right now, like a Stanley, a PSA 10 is going for $4,000. Now, granted, this is an asking price, but you'll see that it's not uncommon that there's a lot of PSA 10s, which means, um, if you're new to this, means a perfectly graded Captain America or Spider-Man or Stanley going for over $1,000. So this asking here, $4,000 is on the very high side, but you will see that there's people that has transacted and paid over $1,000, $2,000 for a PSA 10 card. So, so what's happening? First of all, let's, let's explore why is somebody paying $4,000 for a perfect gem mint card like this? And the reason for that is because when somebody is looking at the other collectible market, could be the basketball collectible or the Pokemon um, or a comic, because the prices are surging, a lot of times collectors who might be new to this are thinking, oh, wait a second, it just means that a collectible like this is gonna surge as well, because it only makes sense, right? That this is going to follow the trend. If a Charizard at a perfect 10 condition can sell $250,000, why can't an Iron Man at PSA 10 graded, perfect mint condition can sell the same price? So on a surface level, that seems to be argument. And that is why, for that reason, uh, because prices of Jordans are surging all time high, Charizards, Marvel Comics, all the collectibles and NFTs, you know, NBA Top Shot, if you've been following, virtual collectibles, everything is going through a roof right now in recent weeks. 
Um, therefore, a lot of people are just, you know, following the herd mentality and saying, oh, wait a second, I should be on a bandwagon as well. Now, let me kind of demist, like as somebody that's been doing this for a decade, and I know that this is not something I talk about on the channel. Uh, if you're new to the channel, um, you'll notice this channel is about online marketing and sales and, and funnels and social media. But this is something I like to do. This is one of my hobbies that I don't really talk about on the channel. And you notice I've started to talk about this. Um, is that this thing right here, unlike the other collectibles, back in 1990, the supply was extremely high. Every comic store would have taken stock in. And back then you will notice that if you take a look at the packaging of this, the condition is close to flawless, okay? Now, that being said, even though the condition is close to flawless, here's what the trading com um, or, or the certification company does, okay? They are taking a look at these cards and I'm gonna open them in front of you to show you how it looks like and I'm gonna try to be careful with them. They are not just grading them based on the condition of the cards. As you can see, if you take a look at it close up later on, which we'll do, do a quick B-roll on, you'll see that condition-wise, um, there are no dents. It's, it's, it's close to flawless. It's... You know, it's really like no chips, nothing there. But what the grading company is looking at is, man, I dropped this in my Captain America's, the edges. Anyway, so what they're also looking at, if it's scented, right? As you can see this Captain America here, it's not perfectly scented. So this is not gonna be a 10, not because of the condition, but because it's not perfectly scented. So what people are doing is they are going places like eBay, and they're trying to buy the, the sets like this or the boxes, open them up in hopes that there's going to be a PSA 10 because the moment you get a PSA 10 for somebody like Captain America or Iron Man or Stan Lee, the logic is all you need is one of these characters at a PSA 10 and you'll break even from your entire investment. So that seems like a no-brainer because it sounds like a very likely scenario and that's why each box is going for over a thousand dollars now but let me tell you the problem with this and why it's a bubble okay um and this is not a collectible like comics which i've been talking about or nfts or virtual and or any of these high risk or alternative type of investments and the reason for that is because when this was issued to pretty much all comic stores there's tens and thousands of them just in the us alone and for that reason, supply was high. It was never really appreciated until the recent months, until collectibles in, in NBA and, and, and Pokemon and Magic the Gathering and, 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 and comics started surging. That is when everybody's taking a look at it and saying, hey, hey, wait a second. You know, it makes sense that the first year of 1990 Marvel collectible cards should be the next thing that, that is going to go to the moon, right? Um, and the problem with that argument is that Right now, if you take a look at all of the PSA 10s, why are they going for thousands of dollars? It's because it's all supply and demand. Right now, supply is lagging behind. Right now, there wasn't a whole lot of people that took these cards and sent it to the grading company um, to have them graded because it was just never a thing. And the grading company like PSA, which is the leading grading company, right now they have a huge backlog and it's about six to nine months to get your cards graded. So right now there's a lot of people taking these cards, buying them online, and because they look like it's flawless, they are sending them to PSA and they're not in the market yet. Right now, there's this gap in the market that's happening and because they're not in the market, demand is high and supply is extremely small because it was never appreciated. Nobody sent them to PSA. So that is why each individual card, PSA 10, okay, is, is going for thousands of dollars. In fact, if you take a look at this, this Spider-Man card, you can see it's, it's nearly perfect. Let me see. It's not perfectly scented. This might be a nine, okay? But this Hulk is, this Daredevil, okay, this Hulk looks like it's a 10. Now, whatever. So, so there's all these names in here, right? Where there's Nick Fury thing. So it, it, it feels like if the first appearance of Captain America or Hulk or Spider-Man can go for tens and thousands of dollars, in some cases, six figures, right? Why can't a card that was first released in by Marvel in 1990 carry the same value. And the reason is because right now, this is a very unique time where there's a lag in the market where everybody, collectors, have sent their cards for grading. They're taking nine months for them to receive it back. 
and everybody's crazy about this, so there's not enough supply but high demand. So economics 101, what happens? Price of a commodity, any commodity when supply is low and, and demand is high, of course it will skyrocket and surge. But what do you think is gonna happen when people who have sent these cards in, gotten from them a long time ago, they've seen the price surging, so they've sent it to PSA, and in nine months, when all these comic stores that's been holding these cards for the last 30 years, they receive it back, and there's, and, and again, guys, I've had this for a long time. Look at the condition, okay? They're all close to flawless. And as you can see, I'm not like the best person who takes care of these type of things. I mean, I put them in, you know, but but you, you will see that they're all gonna be pretty much PSA 8, 9, and 10, right? 10 if it's perfectly scented. Not all of them is gonna be perfectly scented, granted. But there's gonna be tons of 8s and 9s. And when that happens, okay, when everybody get their cards back, that is when supply it is going to flood the market and that is when the bubble will burst okay so on this channel what have we been talking about i've been talking about you know things that I like collecting things like you know comics i talk about prediction of comics i believe that comics right now are still extremely undervalued under attention why because disney plus and with the direction of where disney is taking marvel it is going to continue skyrocketing these type of assets i've talked about alternative assets like you know nfts virtual land these type of things you still gotta be careful with them um you know with people talking about um things like crypto punks and nfts um crypto punks is another bubble that i would stay away from some of you talked about you know what about like these old here's the thing you know there's so many influencers talking about these type of crypto punks that and if you went in like three months ago there's a ton of space for prices to surge but right now like the cheapest nft in crypto punk is twenty five thousand dollars look i love virtual art you've seen me talk about these type of virtual assets i'm not going to go there for this video um but the thing to stay away from okay so this is a sign of a bubble i wanted to shoot this video because i know that when i started talking about comics and collectibles uh, many of you um, showed a lot of interest and because of you know people doing research it feels like this is the logical thing to do um, when in fact the boat has already passed for these type of collectibles so avoid buying the booster boxes at over a thousand dollars each the price is not going to sustain avoid buying each individual PSA card at a thousand three thousand dollars because right now this thing is just temporary and this crash is imminent so avoid these cards the thing to that you want to be able to explore comics are still great the right ones my other videos be sure to watch them if you haven't but i talked about how comics are different because you can still buy and invest in comics where the character is not yet marketed yet by marvel or disney and if you spot the right ones that is how you know i have been um, making you know three up to 300 percent gains on some comics where you know in, that we did in the past just by speculating what are the characters that marvel is going to be marketing so in summary eternals is coming up so if you buy something that is eternals related you know that if the movie does not flop doesn't tank chances are that asset is going to go up same thing for the new black widow movie right nobody knows who the new black widow is just yet but if you follow the comics you will know that um, this would be the comic to get same thing for wonder vision now wonder vision is over but before wonder vision started i talked about how this would be the comic like monica rambo is going to be a key person in there and this comic over here if you've been following what i've been doing um has increased by about 300 percent ever since the series came out so this is something that would be in your control because you are literally relying on disney's and disney plus's uh, marketing and expertise when it comes to marketing a specific superhero the odds of disney totally bombing and doing a horrible job is going to be low because chances are the people running it is brilliant so i would prefer those type of assets rather than things like crypto punks or these type of cards where the prices has already skyrocketed now you know that on this channel i've been talking a lot about you know digital art digital work nfts um virtual and from like things that's the craziest of things and i know that this is not something i talk a lot about in the channel if this is something that you enjoy um and if nfts and virtual art is something of your interest just type in nft below as you know right now we are doing giveaways and 
um, just by commenting below, we are going to be selecting three random winners um, to give away um, our virtual stuff. So whether it's virtual land or virtual NFTs, if you want to be part of that giveaway, just comment below NFT. Or if you enjoyed this video, um, do smash the like button. It does help out our channel in terms of the algorithm and be sure to subscribe if you want to be able to follow trends on um, whether it's cryptocurrencies, NFTs or collectibles. Um, the next time I drop a video just like this one. Hey, this is Bing Jun here. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.